continuous versus category. Okay. So one variable is your quantitative, another variable is your qualitative, like hemoglobin label and gender. Okay. So hemoglobin label here it is very simple. Okay. What is the average hemoglobin level in male? What is the average hemoglobin level in female? And just compare that. It's 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 uh, high or low. But you can ask one question. Means I am saying that chi square test we will use, correlation we will use, t test we will use. Why? Why we are using this test? Anyone can? Okay, if I will say, okay, let hemoglobin label in uh, 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 male is 12.2, hemoglobin label in female is 12.3. There is a difference. So, what do you mean by conducting a test here? Uh, so, basically, uh, maybe we are trying to compare. Yeah, we are trying to compare. And that comparison is here. The mean value of, of hemoglobin in male is this and female is this. So, in female it is high. The same concept, okay, like previously. Human is independent individual. So, whenever you have a group of people, there is a difference. Okay, whenever there is a group of people, means two groups, they, they must be different between each other. So, if the difference is natural, if the difference is natural, then the same thing, someone will reply, the result by chance, yes. So, the result by chance, the, so that, that, that difference is by chance or it's real, that we want to identify. Okay, so because difference is always there, whenever you are going to calculate the mean between two groups, it must be different till the both have the same patients, participants. Okay, so there must be some difference on that. So if there is a difference, so that difference is real or by chance. So if it is by chance, we are not bothered about that. Ah, no, there is a difference. One year difference, we don't bother. So so we in statistics we are saying it is significant or not. Okay. So if the difference is significant, then we are bothered about that. Yes, that difference is there in the hemoglobin level. Otherwise, it's by chance, it's fine. So that basically we are interested. So so the relationship is basically that is significant or not. Okay. Like in, in categorical versus categorical, also the association if if See, the percentage is not going to be same like education level is same in male and same in female. There must be some difference. So that difference is by chance or difference really exists. That we want to know. For that purpose, and what do you mean by by chance and uh, uh, it's natural, means it's real. It's like if I will say you uh, toss a coin. Okay, so if you will toss a coin, it may be head, it may be tail. I will say toss again. So if you will toss it again, it may be head, it may be tail. So let the first time when you toss, it's come head. Second time you toss, again it become head. Okay, it's fine, it's possible. There is only two options, head or tail. So second time is head possible. Third time you toss, again it's head. Okay, ah, it's possible, no problem. Third time also it's head possible. Fourth time you toss, again it's head. Now you start thinking. Fourth time head again. Okay, maybe it's by chance. Fifth time you toss, again it's head. Then you say, no, there is something. Either you are giving some trick on that or there is a fault in coin or both are head. You stop them. Huh? You said, there is something. That is the point we want to know. Okay, when you say, now this is not by chance, it is by some external force. That is the real difference and where we bother about. So that's why there are different tests depending on different conditions. That is a simple concept. 
ओके एंड दैट्स वाई वी आर कंडक्ट दिन इट्स नॉट जस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट है या नहीं है ओके देर इज अ रीजन बिहाइंड दैट ऑल्सो सो इफ बोथ आर कैटेगोरिकल वेरी इजी काय स्क्वायर टेस्ट फिशर एक्जेक्ट टेस्ट मैग्नमा टेस्ट इफ पेयर देन मैग्नमा टेस्ट इफ नॉट पेयर देन काय स्क्वायर और इजी टेस्ट इफ बोथ आर कंटीन्यूअस देन द प्राइमरी रिजल्ट इज टू सी द कोरिलेशन एंड इफ वन इज कंटीन्यूअस वन इज कैटेगोरिकल सो वन सैंपल इज वेरी रेयर वील स्टार्ट विद द टू सैंपल in one sample like you have a hypothetical value or you want to compare with that hypothetical value okay like the the average height is 5 point weight 8 or not okay so 5 point age is peak when you want to compare with the 5 point age this is one sample this but here there is less chance but in two it's 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 a normal phenomena normally we are handling with this type so hemoglobin level and gender so gender is a categorical variable hemoglobin level is a continuous variable so it's a condition of continuous versus categorical and in categorical there are two group categories okay two groups means two category basically male and female so hemoglobin level in male hemoglobin level in female it is different but it's significant or not for that purpose we use unpaired t test when it's follow norm so in this in this particular condition first two condition is very simple in this particular condition we have the different sub conditions of it so the continuous variable normal or not okay categorical variable having two category or more and the data is paired or not three different varying condition okay so if the continuous variable is continuous categorical variable having two category on pt if it is not normal will cocks clear if it is normal two category on patty if it is not normal two category will cocks if it is paired pre post condition or left right teeth paired teeth is or will cocks and sign rank test see name is also similar on patty test paired teeth Wilcoxon Ransom, Wilcoxon Sign Ransom. Clear. So very similar concept. You just you mean means when you 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 see your problem, you identify first variable, second variable. You let first variable is continuous, second variable is categorical. Then the it's follow the normal or not. So they must provide that information also. It follow the normal or not. Okay. And category, how many categories are there? Okay, so depending on that, on pair T test, will Coxon rank some test? If it is pair pair T test, will Coxon sign rank? If it is more than two category, so if it is more than two category, like male, female, other. So now it's not you can say it's different between the male, female, and other. Okay, again you want. Two two combination, okay. It is different between the male female. It is different between the male other. It is different between the female other. Okay. So if it is the more than two category, then if it is normally distributed and more than two category, then we will use the ANOVA. And if it is not normally distributed, then we will use the Kruskal values test. Only six things you need to remember. Okay, we don't have any means only concept basis. You need to remember that. But yes, the overall scenario I'll try to categorize in the different sections so that it's easy for you to remember. Okay, so if it is more than two groups, continuous data, one way ANOVA. If it is non-continuous data, non-parametric data, Kruskal values ANOVA. If it is paired, then repeated measure ANOVA or Friedman test. that's something okay so if and the possibility is two to three question they will ask with this testing of hypothesis they may ask related to the chi square they may ask related to the correlation very important they may ask related to the t test or you know okay when to use they will give you a condition which test is appropriate okay so they define everything give you a scenario and they will ask which test is appropriate And you just choose the correct test for that. 